What's going on everyone? I'm Jeremy Schick and I'm a fixer. In today's video we're going to talk about repairing an early 2015 MacBook Pro Retina where the touchpad and the keyboard stopped functioning. So this laptop was actually already repaired once before, about a year ago. They are notorious uh, for the touchpad and the keyboard would just stop functioning. Now I can do an SMC um, reset on these and sometimes the keyboard and mouse will start working. If you uh, boot into safe boot, into safe mode, uh, by holding down the shift key, it will work there as well. I don't know what the deal is. There's a, a little ribbon cable. I'll show you it right here. It's about $12 on Amazon. And at least the last time I did this, this little ribbon cable repaired the problem. So I'm hoping that it does it on this deal as well. What's weird is that the, the haptic touch on the touchpad still functions, but it doesn't recognize the movement of it at all, and the keys don't work. But you can power the thing on and off. I don't know if the volume, I guess the volume doesn't work as well. Thankfully, I had a Bluetooth uh, Mighty Mouse and keyboard that were already configured and attached to it. Uh, so I was still able to use the laptop uh, while I was waiting, but you know, just a pain. So we're going to go ahead and open this thing up and repair it. One thing I will say is always make sure that you back up your laptop before you do anything internally. Um, you know, I've lost a hard drive before, nothing to do with working on it on the inside. It was actually part of a a restore. I was upgrading the OS and it crashed on me and I hated it. So I actually have a um, whatever they call it, Apple's time capsule Wi-Fi device that backs this thing up every day so I don't have to worry about losing. At least I hope I don't have to worry about losing all of my data. So like I said before this uh, is an early 2015 MacBook Pro. This ribbon cable that I ordered was only like 11 or 12 dollars on Amazon. I will put the link in the description where you can go check it out. It's an affiliate link. I might make 30 cents off of it if you buy it through the link. Um, but check it out if you have this issue and you need to repair your laptop, this is the way to do it. You'll also notice once I open it up that the hard drive looks different um, than normal hard drives. I've actually upgraded the hard drive in this laptop to um, an other world computing one terabyte SSD drive and I absolutely love it. You know the downside with these Retina MacBook Pros is that the hard drive space is so minimal. I think the max you could get was 256 or 500 gigabytes. So this one terabyte drive is great. It took about a year before I could actually order it. Nobody made an aftermarket one. Um, so I'll put a link in the description for that as well um, so you can check that out if you want it but in case you're wondering why that hard drive looks a little bit different that's why okay so one thing to note on these is that the case doesn't take a normal torx driver it takes a pentalobe driver which has like the little rounded corners on it and so I think, I don't remember, I think this might have come with my other world computing drive that I got. If not, you can um, get these on Amazon as well. And I will uh, put a link for those too. They're not that much. Now, and the other thing that I'm going to do is as I take these screws out, I'm going to set them down in the order that I take them in the same configuration. That way I know which one goes where. And you just pull on the back and the whole thing will pop up. So here's that funky looking drive that I was telling you about. It's got like a big giant heat sink on the top. This is the ribbon cable right here. This is the battery connector. I like to pop it off just so there's no power running to the board. Just 
just pops up like that. Now this to get to this ribbon cable you have to take this little plate off. So that is actually a Torx. Let's see if I can find there we go. It's a T5 Torx bit. And the pentalobe looks like it's a TS5 is what it says, 1.2 millimeters. This will come off. And that was actually loose and I'm wondering if that was the only issue that I had was that that was loose or I just popped it loose whenever I did that. But either way, I'm going to go ahead and replace it. Alright, so I'm going to try to get you down here to look at this. This is the connector on this side. There's actually a tiny little tab that you have to flip up. See there, it has flipped up. Once you flip that up, you can pop this end off. this cable will slide right out just like that Let's see if we can go ahead and get this new one put in there and essentially all you have to do is slide it in just like so and push that little black tab down and you can notice that I don't know why they did this but this cable is too long And so you end up having to bend it to make it fit. And you can see how I bent the other one, sort of just like that. And in all honesty, that's probably why it popped out. But we're going to see if that does what it needs to. I will go ahead and put this plate back on, which in theory is supposed to hold it down, but clearly it does not. If it happens again, I'm probably just going to open it up and make sure that that connector right here is pushed all the way down so I have a sinking suspicion that there was nothing wrong with this connector it had just come loose and this is a tab here I could actually pull that off and stick it down to this battery but I don't want to have to peel it off the next time so I'm not going to go ahead and connect the battery back and we will pop it back in place then I'll go ahead and put the screws back on. All right, let's turn it on. See if I have a touch pad. Well, I got the sound. That's a good thing. mouse works so I say we fixed it all right let's see if we can make it work cool all right so there you saw how to fix an early 2015 MacBook Pro where the touchpad and the keyboard stopped functioning really simple cheap part I'll put the link to it in the description as well as the tools that you'll need Thanks so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you liked it, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever I release a new video. I'm Jeremy, and I'm a fixer.